In part one, we learned that it is important to complete the communication chain by acknowledging customers, acknowledging customers when they are clearly angry. In part two, I want to give you phrases that you can use as is, or even better, adapt to your own style and to the situation to acknowledge a customer's concern, be that anger or frustration. Here are some phrases that I hope you will use and customize for the best fit situation. I realize you are upset. This phrase is simple, but it really does acknowledge concern. When you pick up concern in a tone of voice or in the words, you have to address it head on, and this will do exactly that. Or how about this one? I realize how complicated it is too. I came up with this phrase in response to one of my clients. They are in a situation where customers have to file a complaint in writing. They can either go to the company's website and download a, a little packet and fill out the complaint or they can get the packet via snail mail. Either way, it's another step for the customer. It's frustrating, it's time consuming, and the representatives found themselves in situations every single day having to apologize for the inconvenience. So I came up with this phrase for the representatives to use. Now I realize how complicated uh, it is uh, for you to, to have to hang up and go to our website, download and print the forms. So they would lead with that. So they started with an acknowledgement of customer concern. Oh, that sounds frustrating. Let's take a look and see what's going on. This is really good when the customer is going into uh, their story of, of how they were put out or inconvenience. This lets you acknowledge that concern and then kind of keep uh, the conversation going. What you have experienced is no more acceptable to us than it is to you. This is a wonderful response to a customer who is clearly angry. They are upset. You hear it in their words and in their tone. Uh, likely they are going on and on and on. Acknowledge them by letting them know um, we're not happy with this situation either. And finally, we want to get to the bottom of this just as much as you do. Let the customer know that we are on the same page. We both want a resolution to the problem that you have experienced. Now, how might you acknowledge customer concern? I love the phrases that I've shared with you, but you know your customers and your business and your situation far better than I ever could know. Before you walk away from this module, I want you to brainstorm two or three phrases that you can use to acknowledge the concern of your customer.